it is time to look ahead to some fun things to do. Melanie Steen is here. It's good to see you. You're right to see you too, First guys. of all, these are super, super adorable and cute. They are, but, right? But they've got lots of built-in secrets, right? Yes, they do. They Tell do. me about them. These are the Hoka brand women's aura recovery sandal. Okay. And it's a really sturdy sandal. I mean, look at this substantial heel, right? Yeah. When you think about buried treasure, you probably think about pirates. But what about treasure right here in the Ozarks? <laughs> are you married? I am not married. You're kind of cute. Oh, thank She's you. She's not married. What do you think, Springfield? Yeah, babe. Do you like the older guys? <laughs> I do. I do actually like the older guys. You guys, you like guys with fuzz on their face? You've got a lot of fuzz on your face. You ever kiss a guy without teeth? <laughs> no, I can safely say I've never done that. You've I, never done that. No, Just a little one right that. there. Just a little one right there. Right there. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back to The Place. Well, we've talked about buried treasure on the show before, but what about treasures that aren't just hidden here, they were made here instead? The gun will come to your head, good, and your hands are going to come up and underneath the weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now push up, good, now lock your hands around the barrel, good, now you want to dip slightly, good, now you're going to step your outside leg towards his body, okay, and push the gun to his shoulder and circle it all the way back into you. Okay. Good job. All right, okay. Very nice. Not giving this back to you. No. Not giving this back to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Petersons are a family band in every sense of the word. They've had the full support of their parents since day one, and like most parents, theirs have made lots of sacrifices along the way. Just because it's cooler outside doesn't mean we can't still get out there and work off some of those holiday calories. You don't want to jump in here? No, I don't want to no, jump in No, you sure? Okay. All right. What I want you to do is step toward me, I do this all the time. Now smile. Now look in the camera. And smile. Be your lovely self. All right. Now hold still. Don't. Okay. Now. Oh gosh. I want you. <laughs> be sure. Oh my God. Come the first night. And see all the acts. Oh. Plenty of them. And lots like of variety. And and are you okay, Melanie? I'm okay. I feel the breeze. <laughs> 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 I'm going to drop it now. There we go. <laughs> Thank that you, man. So well, the countdown is underway. We have just two weeks left until Christmas. Crazy. I know. <laughs> Hopefully you're all done with your online shopping by now. We all know about Lyme disease and how ticks can carry and spread it to humans. But there is another disease that many of us are not aware of, and it's called Alpha-Gal Syndrome. St. Louis realtor Lauren Risley is the host of HGTV's Call the Closer, which went into production and started airing during the pandemic. But for her, the timing of the show was no less exciting. Exciting. Knowing the opportunity, it feels unbelievable. Um, but the biggest feeling I feel, it just feels surreal. I was very, very nervous for, for life to change um, or just to feel differently. And I'm so happy it has not. Risley has reinvented herself several times over the course of her career. She bought her first house at 19 and learned how to rehab from a family friend. Eventually, she would work in finance and then move on to selling commercial real estate. I transitioned into the world of selling privately owned companies. So we sold companies all over the United States. Um, I did that for probably another seven years. That job required a lot of travel and left little time for a personal life. It also left Lauren feeling unfulfilled. While I was doing mergers and acquisitions, I was renovating maybe one house every two or three years, um, just kind of for fun. For Lauren, it took working a job for her to realize her true passion. And by age 30, she realized that selling and rehabbing homes was it for her. You're a part of their next chapter and all of their future chapters. I mean, I did not realize how much I would love real estate until I got into it. Every day, people are navigating the daunting process of buying a home. But for a select few, the journey is harder than most. Ben nitpicks every corner of any house that we look at. Nope. Truly, the show is based on reality in the sense that, you know, we work with a ton of different kinds of clients. Um, the majority of our clients, we find houses that are moving ready and they're perfectly happy. But we do have clients that are either, you know, super picky, um, their budget does not meet their expensive taste. Prior to hosting Call the Closer, Risley did not have much on-camera experience, with the exception of some YouTube videos. 
So what was the first piece of advice she was given for hosting her own show? Just act natural. I'm like, how am I supposed to act <laughs> natural when there's four cameras and 15 people staring at me, you know? <laughs> Um, so, I mean, but once we started, I mean, the crew, some of the most unbelievable people I've ever met. It seems what you see is what you get when it comes to HGTV's newest star. I always joke that I'm who I am in front of my clients, my parents, my friends. Like I don't have, there's not a professional Lauren and a personal Lauren, it's just Lauren. Um, and people like that, but there could be quite a few people who don't like that. Risley is originally from St. Louis and says she's received great feedback regarding the new show. To hear the feedback on social media, which we get a ton of messages about how awesome it is to represent St. Louis and how awesome it is to represent the Midwest, like that honestly feels the best. That feels so good for people to feel like the show does a good job representing St. Louis. Oh my gosh. That's why they call me the closer. While she's the face of Call the Closer, she is quick to point out those who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make it all happen. We saw each other five or six days a week, 12 hour days. The crew worked longer than I did, so they'd be 14 hour days sometimes. And we just grew to be this tight knit family. And it was just, I mean, that alone was worth the whole experience. She's also got a refreshing outlook regarding her real estate firm, Lauren Risley Realty. Our egos are checked at the door. It's not about us making money or us hitting our goal for the year. It's about how many families can we impact and how can we invest in our community? And all of the agents on my team have that same vision. And so our goal every time is to go above and beyond. The 30-something realtor and TV host tells me she sees herself selling homes for the next 30 years. I'm at work more than I'm doing anything personally. And so if you don't love what you're doing or feeling fulfilled in what you're doing, it's just, it's going to make all of life less enjoyable. Don't, don't ever give up. Like it's never too late to be a new you. Um, it's never too late to do something different. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Everybody out there, give Melanie a big hand. She did a great job. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. There you go. I was not ready for that.